I'm so hyped. Oh my god, I'm so hyped. I gotta play the entrance again. should have never done it they should have never done it you know what the live is supposed to start in 15 minutes i couldn't wait i could not wait welcome to raider nation unlimited post game wrap up i'm your man wasted talent i don't know who's out there watching but you know what who's ever watching shout out to you you know what i know y'all are going to be spilling in here in a minute but oh my lord man that was this most splendiferous splendiferous occasion it's ridiculous man this team looks man i look i know it's the first preseason game i know i know y'all i understand i get it you know some of the wet blankets in raider nation they're gonna come in here and they're gonna rain all on my parade but i don't give a damn man i haven't been that happy watching a complete game from the raiders in a long 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 time Long time. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. My guy, Mike Holly. AO, AOC4 is legit. You're damn right. Mike Holly, if the D-line can consistently get a push up front, throw pros and QBs off the linebacker and secondary group, we'll make plays. That is a factory, my guy. Johnny Walker God. Wasted. How about AOC4? Listen, Aiden O'Brady is the man. The man is in here. Listen, man, the man, is, is, is he, he, oh, he's not taking no shorts, man. This reminds me a lot, a lot of when, um, you know, the former number four started out in preseason. It reminds me a lot of that. It reminds me a lot of, of, of you know, some of the, the, the guys who have just bursted on the scene, man. Man, yo, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. What is the damn deal, everybody? So, yo, look, man, what we're going to do is we're going to be in here. We're going to be rocking and rolling. We're going to be juking and jiving. What I want y'all to do is do me a favor, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Get wasted with your brother wasted. Share this thing out on Twitter, everywhere across America. It is time for that premium content. I don't know what the hell's going on with the chat. I can't see. I can't see the chat. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reload here. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to reload. I can't see the chat. The chat is not moving for me. I can see the chat in another screen, but I can't see the chat, yo. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Give me a sec. I'm about to hit the refresh button, y'all. Don't go nowhere. That is more like it. Woo! Baby! How's it looking? How's it feeling, y'all? How do y'all feel about this, man? I know it's the, 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 the first preseason game. I know. I know. We got over 300 in the room. Get wasted with your brother wasted. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I got to give my shout outs and salutations. My guy, Dre Ashley. <laughs> my dog, Hug. Real talk. AO4 outplayed every first round QB taken this year. You're damn real. Shadow Fox is in the place. Jimmy's Ocean. 
Long live 8 and 24, the Mamba himself. Man, run that intro back. We're going to run it back again, man. We're going to run it back again. I'm so excited, man. I'm on my Funk Master Flex, man. I'm on my Funk Master Flex, y'all. Hey, we ain't doing it again. But listen, let me tell y'all something, man. I, look. I ain't been as excited a long time. I'm sorry, man. Let, look, let me get myself under control here, man. This is why I don't do the, the live games, because I'm a damn I'm a damn nut, man. <laughs> My dog, Raider Ribs, is in a place. Everybody is in a place to be, man. We are going rogue up in here, man. My guy, Mike Downs. I will say it. I was excited for this guy, and we drafted him. And I'm saying he's our next starting quarterback. And so far, it's ringing true. Don't you try to take all the credit for that, Mike Downs. Don't you do it. But, yo, y'all already know, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Pay your bar tabs on the way in here, man. <laughs> hey, Kenny Mac, man, I am definitely, definitely. Uh, yo, I am not feeling myself. I'm feeling the way this team look, man. Look, everybody that I wanted to see perform, bro, perform. Zamir White, we got to look at Zamir White. Zamir White showed that leg drive strength moving the pile. Um, Sincere McCormick looked great. Sincere McCormick looked good, man. You know, he looks like an NFL, an NFL player, man. He doesn't look out of sorts, right? Amari Bernie, I mean, yo, Amari Bernie looks like the real deal. Shout out to my cuz, man. Yo, shout out to my cuz, man. Yo, big... Big Florida Gator aficionado. He's a son playing for the Gators right now. My cousin Kevin. He told me about Amari Bernie right before the draft. I looked at him. I was excited when we got him. And, and, and let me tell you something. I think Amari Bernie is going to pay some dividends, man. I think, you know, the linebacking core we have in the building, listen, it's not going to be the Baltimore Ravens circa 2000s. But these are young, hungry guys that can get it done who aren't going to take up a lot of cap space. The Luke Mastersons of the world. Curtis Bolton looked great. You know what I mean? Yo, man, I got, I got to get, listen, I got to calm the hell down. I have got to calm the hell down. I mean, what is wrong with me? I am going crazy here, man. Going crazy here. I think the chat is behind again. I don't know what the hell is going on, man. The, the chat is like stuck, man. We got over 400 in the room. Get wasted with your brother wasted. I'm up here looking at the, um, I'm looking at my phone. And the phone and the chat is not lining up. The last thing I see is um, Bambino. Said Bernie looked good out there. That's a fact, man. I see there's a super in the room. I can't put it up on the screen because I can't see it, but I'm going to read it. My guy, Ruben 12 Raiders, thank you for the $4.99 super, man. Man, the D-line looked fire. Listen, bro, Neil Thick Frame Farrell was all over the place. We was all over the place, man. He looked great. He looked great. The only thing is, yo, guys, like I say, man, I'm not going to go crazy. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go crazy, and I'm not going to sit up here and act like we won a Super Bowl here. But what this game showed me is that this Raider team has depth all the way to the back end of the roster, all the way down to the back end of the roster, and that is phenomenal, man phenomenal man i mean i couldn't ask for more man i could not ask for more my god neek fleming everybody was straight but 48 you listen oh my goodness i don't want to get on aziz hearns man but aziz hearns listen i am gonna nickname aziz hearns until he he, he, he gets this this nickname up off him man aziz the toast hearns man that man was out there getting cooked cooked so look, let's get this thing in the proper perspective. We got almost 500 in the room. Get wasted with your brother wasted. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Yo, the Equinox is definitely upon us. Now look, man. Thick frame Farrell. I said that he had to show up and show out. He is showing up and showing out. Neil Farrell was responsible for a lot of the, the, the defensive plays that are going on up front, man. Neil Farrell looked excellent, man. Um, yo, NJS, Nessa J. Silvera, he looked excellent. 
Excellent, 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 man. We look solid out there. Elite is in the place to be. My guy, Martinez, guarantee if the Winers would have won, they'll be talking it's only the preseason crap. Yeah, listen, bro. It is only the preseason, but we got to we gotta look at it in context. Yo, we got over 500 in the room. Get wasted with your brother. Wasted. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I mean, this is beautiful, man. This is it's like it, it, it's like a, a, a content party up in this piece. I don't know what the hell's going on in my chat. So Amir is in a place to be. Ayo for the goat. Great game on all sides. Ball game call. Great ball game call by Josh. Man, yo, my guy. Let me let me see, man. Yo, like this is crazy, guys. I don't know what the hell's happening to um. I don't know what's happening, bro. I can't see everybody's supers right now. I can't see anything. The, the chat is not moving for me in StreamYard. StreamYard sucks. Listen, yo, you know what I'm going to do? Since I'm so excited, and I know it's over 500 in the room, we got to get organized here because I can't see the chat. I'm like looking for my phone, and it's bullshit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the entrance again on some Funk Master Flex crap. And uh. Now, we got to see if this chat is moving a damn again. It looks like it's moving. Listen, we got to send a special, special in invite to a special, special guest. My bro wants to pull up. I want him to pull up. It's hammer time, everybody. We are bringing hammer in the place to be. My chat is all messed up, but it's all good, man. We going to get through it, y'all. We going to get through it. I'm going to read it off my phone. If I don't put it up on the screen, y'all, don't get upset at me. Don't get upset at me. Yo, my guy GA, 11 months, member of the channel. Appreciate you, my dog. Let me read that, man. Finally, a number four who ain't scared to lead us to the damn red zone. Man, my God, man. Southern Trent Kill. Oh, my God. Is in a place to be. Machiavelli, yes. Laundry Raider. Hammer will be getting the invite. I'm doing that right now. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, we're going to get to this content, man. I'm just trying to get my damn StreamYard right. I don't know what the hell is going on with StreamYard, man. This junk is tripping, man. Tripping, tripping. It, it is tripping right now. It is messing up the show. You guys know that I am one of one of the kings of, of, of reading the chat and making sure that everything is copacetic out there. And I'm reading all y'all comments, man. I don't, I don't want to give y'all a bad show. But uh, yeah, man, let, let me go on ahead. Let me send Hammer this. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully StreamYard catches up to me, man, because I'm up here cooking right now. That's right. I'm pumped up. Pumped the hell up, man. Solo Empire in a place to be. 199 Super Chat. Defense. You damn real. The defense was looking great. Everybody was flying all around the damn field, man. Everybody was flying all around the field, man. I loved it, man. Loved it, man. Hammer just got the invite. Hammer will be pulling up pretty soon, man. Old ass waste of technology got him twisted. F you, black sheep. It ain't, it's, it, yo, listen. I know what I'm doing, brother. Everything is going splendiferous over here. I just can't, the chat, I don't know what the hell's going on. I can see it on my phone, but I can't see it on my computer. Hammer, what's up, man? Can't. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Graph is in a place to be. It's a splendiferous occasion. Uh, yes, it is, it is always a splendiferous occasion. My Gra Graf's in the chat, so I I'm, I'm might as well just ask Graf this right now. Did, did, did you bust the nut when... Oh, no, no. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> wait one second. Wait a minute. This guy is out of pocket. You have officially been muted, Hammer. Hammer, do not come over to my channel with all this filth. This filth for What the hell is wrong with you, man? Pause. Hammer, have you got your mind right yet? Yes, I have. All right. All right, let's get this. This this man just... I mean, listen, the pauses are going crazy. I can see it on my phone right now. I can see it right now. It's ridiculous here. So, no, like, so 
finish, Amber. I'm sorry, man. That that's all on me, bro. But shout, shout out to Stu in the background during uh Seawood's interview during the game. Yeah, I, yo, I saw Stu looking like the caveman from the Geico commercials right behind Seawood. You saw him? Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh yo, hey, O'Connell looked very good. Bernie looked good. Rochelle looked good. We should have had two more turnovers. It is what it is. We capitalized on two others. Pressure breaks pipes. Our defensive line did a really solid job bringing down Trey Lance, bringing down Sam Darnold. I was happy, man. Very happy. Yo, I, I definitely was too, man. Yo, shout out to Graf. Graf is on the alumni bus right now sitting next to Apollo Creed, the great and powerful Carl Weathers, who is a former Raider. You know what I mean? One of my heroes. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Stallion. <laughs> yeah, you been back in the day, bro? Yeah. There ain't no tomorrow. There ain't no tomorrow, Rock. <laughs> yeah, shout out to shout out to Graf, man. Yo, it, it, listen, man. It is a shield more takeover this weekend, man. We got almost six hundred in the room, yo. Um, Hammer. Someone else that to me played his way on this roster in a in a real way was Neil Thick Frame Farrell. I mean, so I, he was I, balling, I, today, bro. I don't have doubts about him though making this roster. That's the thing. Like he's not one of those guys I have my doubts about making the roster. Yeah, man. I mean, bro, this is the thing, bro. And this is a great, great part of what's going on this year. We got to see in real time the depth from top to bottom. We got to see it in real time, bro. So, look, there are going to be some people that don't make this roster that we're going to be upset about. Like, I'm going to be for real. But you know what? That's a good problem to have, man. Midnight Raider King, my guy, just sent a super... Midnight, I, listen, bro. I for some reason I can see this on YouTube, but I can't. I can't see, I can't see your chat. Like your chat is not moving, like on Streamyard. Yeah, I'm my chat's not moving, so I'm just gonna read it, man. Midnight Raider King, my guy, man. Wasted. These coaches got these boys believing, and it's showing. I know it's only preseason, but I'm excited about the process. Listen, we've been telling y'all, man. We've been telling y'all. Y'all got all of these idiots. Talking about, oh, McDaniels is the Antichrist and all this bullshit. Now you see what happens when you allow people to build the roster in their own image. That is what is going on here. People are believing. They have people that are buying into the system. And I'm buying in now. And that's what the hell people need. to. You need to let these people build it. We always ask, why can't the Raiders do things the way other organizations that win do it? Why do we got to be back in the 60s with everything we do? And then we change everything and everybody complains. Listen, sometimes change doesn't feel good, but it's necessary. And I'm glad that we're seeing the process. Now, last year we did great in preseason, but the one thing that wasn't last year is that our defense did not play that well last preseason. And this defense had played a hell of a game, man. Shout out to the chat, man. Shout out to my dog, Graf. Ruben, 12 Raiders, 499 Super Chat. Appreciate you, bro. The defense was flying around and having fun, just like we are right now. So, Hammer, let me ask you a question, man. I see some things in, in, inside of the chat. I'm going to have to read it because I have it up, man. I got I to gotta sift through this, man. Darth Raider. He said, I don't see anything different offensively compared to last season, but the defense looks more confident, and they are ball hawks. Less thinking, more action, man. I mean, look, man, what say you, my dog, Hammer? And, Hammer, when you answer that, answer that for the chat for me, bro. I'm going to, like, exit StreamYard. I'm going to leave the studio, and I'm going to come back, and hopefully everything uh, gets back rolling again. So, look. If I, if I leave the broadcast, if I leave the broadcast with that in the live, I don't think so. I hope not. I Just... think it will. I think it will, bro. I think it will, man. I'm just going to just reload the side. Well, I'm here, guys. What's good? No, I'm joking. It's a hostile takeover. No, I'm fucking joking. Look, um, defensive line really – I mean, not defensive line. The offensive line wasn't the same as it was last year. We do have a lot of new faces here. I'm happy with the guys that we had out there. I'm waiting to hear what happened with Dylan Parham. I think he just got his bell rung. I think he's going to be okay. But both both lines, man, this game was realistically won in the trenches by both the offensive line and the defensive line, and I couldn't be happier with what we saw. And these aren't even 
our starters right now, guys, you got to take that into consideration. Like, this is great fucking depth. I tell you that right now. We have great depth right now on both sides of the ball. I'm still a little eerie about the linebacking core, but I'm happy with what happened tonight. Yeah, man. I'm going to be real with you, too, man. The thing that I've always asked for, I've always asked for this team to address the trenches, and it's finally happened. And you see it paying dividends. It makes the linebacking core better. It makes the secondary better. And it makes everybody out there more confident, man. And it makes the other opposing team kind of be on their heels. This this 49er um, quarterback situation, man, we got to get into this, man. Trey Lance, you know, threw a touchdown. Now, when you look at his stat line, people are going to look at it in the paper tomorrow who didn't watch the game. And they'll be like, oh, Trey Lance did okay. Trey Lance did horrible. He was running scared, bro. He was, he he was, was running, running for his life. He was running for his life, bro. He, he was looking like, blow the whistle, blow the whistle. It was, it was crazy. He only had one yard damn there in the first quarter. It was ridiculous. So l- 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 let me be honest with you, bro. Is it the fact that he's not seeing the field properly, or is it Kyle Shanahan's play calling? I want to say, from what we saw today, I want to say Kyle Shanahan's play calling. I feel like he was really relying heavily on the pass a lot more than normal. But again... I'm starters. Christian McCaffrey wasn't in the backfield, but I, I, it's tough, man. For them, they are in the middle of a QB competition for that backup spot between Lance and Darnold. They made it clear the other day that Brock Purdy is the starting quarterback for this uh, San Francisco 49ers team. So, not really our monkey. Not neither is it our circus, but. Um, Lance definitely looked uh, like he was playing scared, but I think. Kyle Shanahan's offensive play calling had had something to do with that. So, 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 so when you say that, right? I mean, I, I'm I'm looking at it from this perspective, man. I, I'm I'm looking at it from for two things, right? The, the Raiders eight because our defensive front is is monstrous, and I don't see the guy. There's not one guy that's on this defensive front, man, that I could say is a definite cut. Like, I mean, hell, John Jenkins, John, John, I call him man, John. Yo, the man, the yo. John Jenkins, he went out there, got a sack, right? Then, you know, Nessa J. Silvera was playing well. Rocha was playing well. Right. Neil Farrell was playing well. I mean, there wasn't one guy on his defensive line that played that played bad. There wasn't one, man. I, there's not one guy that I could say, if you ask me, gunning your head, who gets cut on his defensive line? I, I couldn't tell you, man. I really couldn't, man. I couldn't tell you. And that's a great thing. We haven't had that problem in a long time. Yo, we got 617 in the chat right now. Shout out to y'all. Football is back. Raider Nation Unlimited is, is, is rocking and rolling, moving and grooving. Even though the chat's not moving, I can still see it. I'm going to read out your supers. I see my guy. Old school, 1961. The most important thing for me was all around hustle of the team. And thank God we didn't make a move for Trey, High Stakes, Lance. Bro, I'm going to be real with you, man. I'm going to be real with you, man. Trey Lance looks like he doesn't belong in the NFL, bro. Bust. He looks like a bust with a capital B. He's a bum. A bum. So what do you what do you, what do you, what do you what do you, what do you think, man, if, as far as our guys go? Cuz I don't want to talk too much about the 49ers. They they're a bunch of effing bums. You know what I'm saying? We outclassed them all week. People have been saying too much has been made of that and 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 it goes to show you, man, that the proof is in the pudding. Practice makes perfect. The practice reps that were going on and all of the picks in practice kind of uh, – it almost spilled in today's game. Man, Duke yeah. Shelley had one. Amari oh, Bernie had one. We had a fumble recovery. We had almost a pick six. Like, clearly that shit was really happening in practice. Everybody was overhyping it, but look at what the, look at what the defense did today. Bro, I don't know. And, and yo, and you know, you know what's funny, man? I, like I'm sitting up here now and I'm looking at this roster and the good thing about this is, is every freaking week, every freaking week, I can't tell you who's going to be on this team, bro. This is the first time in my adult life I can remember feeling that way. I remember like going through the Raider roster in preseason and writing down who's going to make the team and being almost right to the man, bro. I don't know who the hell is going to make this roster this year. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. We got some more supers, y'all. Y'all, I can't see it in the chat. I, what I what I do is I'm going to go out, I'm going to refresh, and then it'll pop up. But I'm going to read it right now. Um, Cali Boy, O'Connell looking like a young car out there. <laughs> yeah, I, yo, listen, this does remind me shades of Derek 
circa, you know, 2014. I'm not talking – I'm talking about how he stepped up in preseason and took the job. It's, it's Do you see, did you see how he duck and dodged that one sack? How oh, I that loved shit? It. Bro. I loved, it. loved it, bro. Loved it, man. My boy Cali Boy, thank you, man, for the $2 super, bro. Thank you. Um, Look, my guy Jay Rowe, O'Connell needed this for his confidence. Yeah, man, he definitely does. You need to build those building blocks as a young player. You need to, to see that 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 – the preparation in motion in real time against real bullets. It's one thing to do it in practice against your team. It's another thing to do it against another team, man. So, yo, shout out to Aiden O'Connell, man. He looks great, man. I can't wait to see where he goes and how he does, man. My guy, Mad Dog, going back to Trey Lance, he's a scrub. <laughs> a definite scrub. My guy, Hug D's with the 49 ass Super. Yo, we got to tip ourselves slightly. We made an O-line. We made an O-line. They got three B QBs hurt last year. Look bad. Not that hard. Pause. Hug these. I, I get it. I understand it, bro. But listen, I I'm all about taking those positive building blocks that are gonna that are gonna drive us into the season. Listen, the fact that this Raider defense from top to bottom is playing the same style of football is what I look at. It's not about the fact that they're going against the second stringers. It is about the fact that, yo. All the way at the back end of the roster, you're getting the same level of effort. You're getting the same level of execution. You're getting the same level of hunger and drive. This is what I'm looking at. They're all swarming to the football. It is a mentality. Mental like you can tell a good defense based off of the mentality of all of the players, not just the stars. So that is what I look at, and that's one of the reasons why I'm excited. Hammer, hold it down for me real quick, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go down. The screen real quick. I'm going to try to pull up the supers real quick, man. Hold on, man. I'm sorry. I think we should just go back and let me create a live. What do you guys think? No, I'm joking. Um, there's so much that can be said right now for this game, and John had put up some really amazing stats earlier. And realistically, Aiden O'Connell actually had the best game out of all the rookie quarterbacks this weekend. All right, so so it looks like – are we back up and rolling hammer? Is it moving? No, because I don't see shit. I'm I might stuck. have to do the same on my end, but I was talking about uh, O'Connell. Like, he just had the best stats out of all the rookie quarterbacks that played this weekend. That's dope. Yo, my guy, Graphic Raider, everyone in the stadium said this team is different. I still want to know how he reacted to Sincere McCormick's first and second touchdown of the game. Put that oh, in the chat, bro. Listen, you know, hey, Graham, do me a favor. Is your back okay? First off, is, is your back okay? Because you probably tried to do a backflip or some wild ass shit in that stadium once the Sierra McCormick got his first touchdown. Oh, man, Hammer. Look, I'm going to be real with you, bro. Uh, Graf is, is, is the unofficial agent for Sincere McCormick. It is looking promising for Sincere McCormick. Let me guys ask you a question, man. Even though this team played great, what did you guys see? What, what, what were some of your criticisms of what was going on? Hammer, like, what, 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 and everybody in the chat, because I can see you guys in the chat on YouTube. I just can't see in the stream yard. So, what were some of your criticisms of this team, man? And I'm gonna put up some of the uh, the supers that we missed uh, when, um, you know, the, the um, stream yard wasn't um, loading up. Mad, not though. capitalizing on the turnovers that we had. We had two other opportunities. Um, Haran getting fucking smoked and giving up that sack. It was the only sack of the game for us. Um. Other than that, Hearn, oh, my God, man. Hearn was just fucking getting smoked left and right. But I'm Aziz pretty sure that we had a consensus that Hearn. he's not making the roster anyways. Aziz, the toast Hearn. Larry DM, thank you for the $5 soup with my brother. One can't cut, no speed, and not much power. I was actually going to talk about Zeus as well. Like, yeah. uh, he's not JJ. That, I mean, who is, bro? That, that I mean, listen. Right. Last, 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 last time I checked, I'm not Superman either, man. I mean, what the hell? What are we talking about, bro? Like, I think his vision got slightly better. Um, but, like, when it came to the short down and distance plays, like, they real, they put the ball more in Aiden O'Connell's hands. And you saw he capitalized with those sneaks. Like, he had a four-yard run on one of them. Like, holy shit. Yeah. Hey, Hammer, I think your mic is going through the computer, bro. And people are saying they can't hear you. Guys, what? this is this is a choppy live. You know that Shieldmore, we do not do this, man. 
This is very, very this di- these technical difficulties are pissing me off today, but it's all right. Let me read some of the people in it. Is that better? Chat. Can y'all hear oh, me now? Yes, you sound a, a thousand percent better, my man. My fault, guys. Yo, my dog, Grav, he says AL- ALC4 is the truth. Cali boy, folks don't understand. Good O produces good D. Pause. <laughs> Shout out to my dog, Pause, man. Pause. Yo, we got almost 700 in the room. Get wasted with your brother. Wasted. Yo, so we got some of the things that people are complaining about that didn't happen. All right. Aziz Hearns is garbage. Yes. Aziz, <laughs> the toast Hearns, did not play well. Visual combo. Drop interceptions. Hearns getting cooked. Uh, did you see that hit Jacory and Bennett laid out on that punt? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. The young fella was down there flying, my guy. That is my dog. Yo, my guy, Ruben Raiders. 12. He says, I love how the DB's communication was, man. Yeah, it, 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 yo, listen, man. The way that they're communicating back there is indicative of what's happening up and down the roster. The, I mean, this is a beautiful thing to see. That, that's why everybody's in. We are all excited, man. Everybody's excited to be in a place to be. My guy, Ruben Raiders, love how the DB's communication was good. Okay, um, Midnight Raider, if AOC4 stay holding the clipboard, we should be set for the next year going forward. And continue to build for the future. We could be in the mix next year, man. Yo, my guy Top Beats in the place to be. Shout out to Top Beats. He says, I wanted to see Britton Brown. Yo, I, I think Britton Brown might be out of here, man. What you think, bro? Uh, let's get through these next two weeks. Let's get through these next two weeks. Where the hell did he go now? Man, th- this... I love my big bro, but this live is... I'm starting to get a headache and a migraine. Yo, it's Damn, okay. Bro. It is all right. It is okay. Wasted Keep has not left you. I am trying me. to make this thing boom. Pause. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to make things Pause. move. Shit. Nah, bro. Should, you said yo. It, 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 it was nasty work earlier, Hammer. You cannot recover from what. Should you I did. just create like another one? Like I don't know. Nah, what? man. Listen, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm good, man. I'm, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep rolling this out because I got to get out of here pretty soon anyway, bro. I, I'm not gonna go crazy, man. Yo. This guy, yo, Dan Teasler is killing me. Mason wasted his low tech. Hammer, will you tell the, the people in the chat, the almost 700 people in the chat, that this is not on me, damn it? Um, what I'm going to say is Wasted needs to invite me over to his house so I can fix his stuff, and then we won't have any problems. <laughs> Bro, this is not, this has no, nothing. I'm mess- no, 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 I'm messing with you because Graf had the same issue not too long ago when it came to the YouTube chat. With StreamYard, for some strange reason, he could not, the chat wasn't actually, like, moving, and he couldn't throw people's names up on the chat either, so. It, it was it was it's unbelievable, man. My guy, Robert Hooks, salute to us. Thank you, my brother. Man, yo, my guy, Richard Dush- Yo, he absolutely did, man. He Roca absolutely balled did. out. I, I keep calling him Roca, but it's Rochelle. He balled out. Yo, this is a guy that. Yo, he is pushing to make this damn roster, man. I'm telling you, the guys from last year, man, like Matthew Butler, yo, he better watch out. I I didn't see him make one play, bro. I'm convinced Butler is going to be gone. I am convinced that Butler will be gone. Yeah, I I definitely do. So let me ask you a question, man. Right now, there are only two guys on this roster, on his defense, that I can definitely see that are probably going to get cut. Aziz Hearns was getting Skew it, bro. Aziz Hearns, listen, bro. He's going to have didn't look that great either. Shelly didn't look that great either. Really? Yeah. I, I, I think I think Duke looked okay, man. Shelly fucking hit that ball, and it went right into the Niner tight end's hands, and he scored a touchdown. I'm like, what the fuck? If you're yeah. not going to catch it, you have to shit the fuck down. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but, but, but on the real, man, as far as his coverage, Duke Shelley looked pretty good to me. I like Duke Shelley, man. I think Duke the ball just carried off his hand. It was what it was, man. But Duke Duke was balling as far as I'm concerned, man. You know, I don't think he played bad. I don't think he played bad at all, man. I mean, and to be real with you, I, I have Duke Shelley definitely making his roster. I, there wasn't an Amik sighting, you know, from what I saw. I swore no, Amik was out there at one point. I saw Amik on the field. Yeah, I mean, the first the first few minutes of the game, I was still at work. So, you know, I think I missed probably the first 10 minutes of the game. And then after that, I pretty much saw the whole thing. I was listening on, on your live, man. Shout out to you, man. You did a freaking 
I mean, phenomenal, phenomenal job, man. Phenomenal job, man. The best play by play in the business, man. Shout out to Hammer, man. Appreciate so look, you, bro. so look, man. You know, right now, man, I'm up here. I'm looking in the chat. We got 634 in here, dark side rated. The defense balled up. Keep up the content. My guy, old school. Waster, are you reading off of an overhead projector? Yes, I am. Just like Al Davis. Yes, yeah. I am. Yes, I am. My man, classic man, cute. We got to keep we, we got to keep going to Sincere. Yo, the one thing I noticed about Sincere McCormick is Sincere McCormick looked like his drive strength as a runner. It looked like he's a, a stronger runner than, than Zeus to me. What do you think, man? Or do you think it was just because, you know, of, of the level of competition or what? I think it was the level of competition. I do. Um, a couple of times he was getting stopped in the backfield, and I'm just like, yo, what the hell is going on? Um, but at the same time, like, he punched that one in from two yards out, and then he had that other reception for the touchdown. I was like, I was going crazy when he scored because I'm just like, I can only imagine what how Graf fucking reacted inside a Legion when, when both of those TDs happened. Like, I was like, oh, my God. Like, this kid could make this roster right now. Yeah, now nah, he definitely he, – he listen, man, this guy is a guy that, you know, for, for me, right, you know, with Josh not being here, you got to make sure that you got a certain amount of running backs on this roster, man. You got to make sure. And with Josh not being here, man, he he's definitely a guy I have red circle to make this roster, man. My guy, D. Bernie, we were one Duke Shelley interception away from the goose egg. We were. We were. We were. And I don't, I don't, I don't mean to keep jumping around, but y'all know, you know, the tech is going crazy today, man. But we we gonna make it do what it do. We got over 700 in the room. Get yeah. wasted with your brother, wasted. Tell a friend to tell a friend. That is the reason why I'm not starting the live over, man. The momentum is crazy here, man. I don't want to leave. You know what I'm saying? I'm still reading, I'm still reading it, but I know a part of this is y'all like to see the comments up on the screen. So every now and again, I'm gonna pop out, I'm gonna reload it. Hammer's going to be here by itself. I'm going to put something up. Hammer, if you could, please. I'm going to put up a question from somebody in the chat. Could you please, please, my man, take care of this, man. Hold yeah. on. I got party out. Artie. God, I'm over here dying. Slowly. Why you saying that? What's wrong, man? Nah, my fucking leg is killing me from earlier. Oh, yeah. We haven't spoken. Titan fucking ran down the block, bro. Good. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. I almost fucking killed myself with this fucking strained calf, man. God damn it. I, I can't stand this dude. Uh, let me pull up. Pause. I'm trying to, I'm looking through your guys' chat on YouTube. All right. So, yeah, I'm back. I'm back in the place to be. We, Barty Artie, he says, please give it up for the O line. My guy, GA Patriot. Zeus looked good in the first. Cecilia looked good in the fourth, the second, and third quarters. Russian game was, I guess, trash. He was saying, um, Elite. Bernie gets very deep in his drops at linebacker. Very promising. Yes, he does. He looks like a defensive back out there, man. And he he, he is a converted defensive back. We're gonna get into Amari Bernie a little a little later, Elite. I gotta scroll up, man, because um, you know, there's some stuff that I missed in the chat. There's a lot of things that I want to put up. I want to keep keep on this whole the, the the Duke Shelley thing, and then we're gonna get back to the running backs, guys. Jay Ray, there's a reason Duke's on the fence. Rob Martin had a hard time making interceptions too. But you got 11 and counted against Cleveland. Oh, okay. He's going back to the old Raiders. In the, I, I think you're talking about the old AFC Championship game. Rob Martin had the ball, carry him off his hand. All right. So, wait a minute. Wait. Shelly is slightly better than Hearns. Both small DBs. Nah, Duke Shelly is eons better than, than Oh, hell yeah. Oh, eons, yeah. Bro, you tweaking on that, man. Yo, Jacorian Bennett was balling. Yo, shout out to Small Cork. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's a hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Uh, that was like a little baby Chucky. <laughs> no, that's not. That's that's Hezbollah. That dude, that that internet influencer dude, the little the little dude from over overseas. Wait, hold on, man. Yo, they say Bennett was locked down. Yeah, Jacorian Bennett was looking he great. Absolutely he was. He was absolutely looking great. Was. So, do you have Jacorian Bennett? Um circled in as a starter bro yes hell fucking yeah like i i love the thought of him on one side peter's on the other outside and hobbs in the slot i'm here for it bro yeah hell yeah yo somebody said yo 
Paul D. He goes, wasting his damn flip phone connection. Bro, I, it is not my connection, bro. No, it's actually StreamYard, which is exactly why I've told my brothers to get the fuck off of it and start using what I'm using. The only reason that me and Grav had that issue last week when we did the show was, one, I almost had no memory left on this Mac, and I cleaned that up, but also it was doing the local and the cloud recording at the same time. I shut those shits off. That connection is going to be fine. Moving forward, 1080p, start using my shit. Stop using, I'm not going to say the company because it's an issue, but don't use this company anymore. Yeah, bro, yeah. But listen, bro, you know what it is? I, 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 I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. The reason why this is happening is really because of the chat. The chat is so crazy right now that they can't keep up. People from all over the world wish that they had this kind of engagement, man. Shout out to the, yo, shout out to everybody who supports the Shield More guys, man. Shout out to all y'all, man. We love y'all, man. Appreciate this, man. We had 700 people in the room, bro, on for a preseason game. That I ain't listen, man. I'm not popping my collar, but I'm gonna pop it a little bit, man. I'm gonna pop my collar a little bit, man. And, and I'm gonna pop the collar for my bros too, man. Because yo, we put the work in, and I appreciate y'all coming back and showing love to, to the gang, man. Love all of y'all, man. I thank y'all for real, man. Yo, <laughs> Graf said, God. never doubt my football opinions ever again. <laughs> hey, 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 Graf, listen, I always doubt your questionable ass opinions. <laughs> this guy. Yo, hey, yo, hey, Graf, man, this guy is hilarious, bro. Wait, wait, wait what, what happened, yo? What, what, what is he talking about? He talking about a uh, uh, sincere McCormick? Of course, you know, his, this, his representation. <laughs> yo, bro, hey, this guy is, listen, bro, I'm going to be real with you. Wasted been told you on a few players that were balling a day, i.e. Amari Bernie, i.e. Neil Thick Frame Farrell. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I, I listen, there's a lot of guys out there that are playing that oh, 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 oh your man old brother wasted been calling a long, 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 long time ago, guys. So let me let me let me ask y'all something, man. Where do you see the biggest room for improvement with this team, bro? Can't give you one right now. Yeah, I mean, look, the I, linebacker, I the right. linebacker room, bro. I think the ceiling is really high with our linebackers. Yeah, man. there are a bunch of no name guys, but like, yo, somebody in the chat just said, man, let me pull, let me let me pull it. Yo, see, hey, hey, grab, cut that bullshit out, bro. Stop, stop hating. I'm about to block you. You covered it here with that Equinox bullshit. You ruined the season last year with that with your cursed bullshit. I'm about to block this guy. <laughs> that F out of here, Graf. That's nonsense. Shout Yo, my guy, you. Giovanni B. The Niners' only points came off of a fluky drop interception by us. We could have won 50 to nothing. <laughs> I don't know if this win means anything, but it feels great. <laughs> oh, Hammer, that was mad weak, bro. Yo, um, my guy, Classic Man Q. Room for improvement. Tackles. Specifically the right side. Classic man Q always with the fire, bro. The right side? What about the left side and fucking Haran getting cooked? That yeah. shit really pissed me off. Bro, I I'm going to be for real with you, man. The one thing I don't like, and, and, and Matt Millen talked about this during the broadcast. Shout out to Matt Millen. I don't like how new players don't wrap people up and tackle. They they try to lower their shoulder and hit. T to me, that kind of stuff, man, needs to be taken out of the game. Like if you know hitting somebody is cool, right? But the the thing that really matters is when you actually tackle them. There was a lot of missed tackles by guys trying to lower their shoulders and lower the boom, man, and people bouncing off of it, and 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 it is really it really worries me. Uh, yo, arm tackling, that's why they're not yeah. doing they're not doing full form tackling, and a couple of times, like a lot of the times today, saw a lot of gang tackling, which I was incredibly happy with, and we had a Drake Thomas sighting. My guy had three solo tackles. I'm I'm happy. I'm Yo, happy. Team light skin. Drake all day. Yo, Hammer, hold it down. Could you see any of the chat in, in, in YouTube, bro? Uh let me pull it up. All right. I'm I'm gonna reload this thing and hopefully everything happens. Yo, Dougie, you said Trey Tucker showed his worth. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? He did have that one incomplete. Um, I loved his effort for that and how he tried to Cradle it and try to hide that he did drop it, but I'm happy with what he did so far. My guy, Giovanni B, the 90s only points. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to give you your money's worth. I appreciate you, guys. 
Um, nine is only points came off a fluky dropped interception by us. We could have had, we could have won 50 to nothing. I don't know if this one means anything, but it feels great. Raiders. Um, yo, we got a new member to the wasted talent army. Dark side Raider is in a place to be. Thank you becoming a, uh, becoming a member of the wasted talent army, man. It is greatly appreciated. It's the best way to support the channel, man. Yo, my brother graphic. Hold on. I am working on some endorsements right now for Sincere McCord. Yo, this is the Jerry Maguire for Sincere McCord, man. It's, it's unbelievable, man. Now, yo, Dark Side will Hearns excel Damn. at his new exciting career at Kinko's. I think Aziz Hearns will probably not make it on the bus today back to his. Well, they ain't got to go on the bus to their home. But Aziz Hearns probably gonna have that 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 slip hanging in his locker because he was getting skewered. The same Bro. way we said when we picked him up, everybody was all excited because he's a UCLA guy. And I said, yo, this guy has an issue when it comes to athleticism. He has an issue. He's not the fastest guy in the world. And and a lot of people were trying to talk all of this nonsense. But this is a guy who was in college for eons, too. He's in college a long time. He's not a young guy. I just don't see him being the kind of guy that keeps making his roster, man. Ta yo. Tackling the whole team. Okay, what are we talking about? Hammer's back in the place to be. Hammer, can you see the chat, brother? Is it working? I'm going to check now. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, we're up to date. Like, bro, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I just looked at uh, YouTube. Yeah. And, like, you were freezing up a little bit. I'm just like, yo, what the hell is going on here? I was freezing up. So, look, let me see. Let Hammer, do me a favor. If, if everything's up to date for you, do what you got to do. I'm going to go on ahead in here and I'm going to make sure that the content keeps flowing. Everybody's in a place to be. I am going to go from Wi-Fi and I'm going to go to I'm going to go main line right here. So we know we have no Wi-Fi right now. We are main lined in a place to be, man. How's it looking, Hammer? You're good. I'm not I'm not freezing. Right, guys. How do I look out there? Old as usual. Wasted as usual. Is it trash? Wait a minute. Troll King is in a place to be. Oh, we got a troll. He said the DBs are trash. The DBs are great. Get the F out of here with that nonsense. Hammer, are you frozen or are you just in, in, in a trance right now? Because your leg is hurting. Can you see me? Yes, I can definitely see you, man. They said I'm good, bro. Yo, my guy, Jimmy Zoshin. Bro, if Jimmy can't um, go, this rookie is ready for the situation, man. It could be a Tom Brady, Drew Belesso 2.0. Yeah, I don't know about all of that, man. Yo, my guy, Grab, he says, yo, I heard 11, at least 11 content at Allegiant Stadium, yo. Yo, content Stop. is going crazy, bro. Stop. It is sweeping the nation, everybody. <laughs> it is sweeping the nation. Listen, the guy troll king, let me get back to that. So we're all over the place. It's so much going on. This chat being messed up is effing my show up. But guess what? I'm still a trooper. Yo. The, 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 this Troll King guy, he, he he is exactly what his name is, Troll King. If you think the DBs are trash, then you don't know football, Troll King. And my chat is the smartest chat in Raider Nation. The Shieldmore chats are the smartest chats in Raider Nation. So if you don't know football, you are going to be unceremoniously blocked. You're about to be blocked, you effing bum. Don't come in with that nonsense. Do you need me? Do you need me to pull up the great and powerful Man himself. No, no, no. Dikembe, do you want me to block you, Troll King? The F is wrong with you, man. <laughs> Farrah John said, keep the show going. It's great, bro. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Junior Land. I definitely appreciate that. It, it was fun to finally do a full 60-minute game and be back in front of the camera for that long with you guys. I definitely appreciate the support. We got a lot of views and a lot of new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for uh, pulling up to the game today. Yo, Dead t sir it's hilarious. He says, Hearns is going to go collaborate on a rap song with Darren Waller. They're going to call the song, I Got Unceremoniously Kicked Out of Raider Nation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My dog, Kenny Mack, is in the place to be. Yo, my dog, Grab, is in the place to be. He says, I'm drunk. I'm going to go and eat. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa, Graf. This this is a G-rated show, Graf. Sometimes are. But you just won X-rated, Grab. Shout out to you. Congratulations on, on everything that you got going on tonight, man. And wear a napkin, Grab. Wear a napkin. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> Yo, uh, my guy Bill Gates, he says, Wasted, what was your most pleasant surprise? My most pleasant surprise was, was actually, man, the um the defensive line. The defensive line playing as aggressive and, 
and getting as much um, penetration as they were getting. Pause, man. Let me tell you something, man. That was that was great. That, pause. that was great, yo. Y'all, shout out to Graphic Raider. Shout out to his beautiful wife, man. They're having their anniversary weekend. Shout out to Stu. Stu is is the man. You know, shout out to Big Mike. You know, B, Halo. Shout out to all of our Shieldmore brothers, man. They're out there representing. The two East Coast guys couldn't make it, but it don't mean nothing. We ain't going to miss another trip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had man. to work. It is what it is, man. But I'm loving the defense. I'm also loving what I see from the running backs. What I see from the running backs are two things. One, we do miss Josh Jacobs. Make no mistake about that. We miss him. And if Josh Jacobs comes back, things can get ugly for the rest of the league, right? But if he doesn't, I know that we got two guys that can get it done on some level. Not the level of Josh Jacobs, but they can get it done. What do you think about that, Hammer? I wholeheartedly agree with that. But at the end of the day, I still think JJ is going to be back. Um, and realistically, we know we wouldn't have seen Josh Jacobs out on the field today. Yeah. This was the sample size and the showcase for Zeus. This was the sample uh, and showcase of um, Sincere McCormick and see what these guys are capable of doing because we saw Amir Abdullah out there. Yeah. We ain't That's see fair. Bolden. I think Bolden might be gone. Bolden is a special teams ace, bro. Bolden is, is, is a guy that they value. He must have naked pictures of somebody in his organization. Okay. And I think that they're gonna he's gonna be like your boy Roderick special teamer. Hammer so 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 Opley um <laughs> of Hammer so Opley coined him Roderick special teamer. Hammer's the effort man for that. Um, my guy, GA Patriot, O'Connell broke more tackles today than Wilder's entire career as a Raider. <laughs> Damn. Yo, yo, you guys are, are, are being unmerciful with Darren Wilder, man. What is wrong with you guys, man? He's not here anymore. F him, man. Yo, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yo, my guy. Yo, my guy, Graf is still in the place to be, man. He got a knight and a fork, and he's he says he's going to eat some cake tonight, man. Shout out to him. Make sure you wear a bib and a napkin, Graf. Congratulations, my brother. Hashtag booty hole. Yeah, hashtag booty hole is sweeping the nation. Stu's in the place to be, man. You remember, that was a monumental show. Listen, Emmer, you know what I'm going to do again? I'm going to mm -hmm. hit the reload so we can catch up to the chat. Hold it down for me, my brother. Yeah, I got you. Wait, hold, wait, wait. Let's make sure I pause. Look, look. This episode of Wasted Talent Unlimited featuring Wasted Talent is brought to you in part by Woodson Whiskey. Build your legend. That's right. Now, now the legend is being built. This is called yeah. the Glitch Show. And my legend is being built right now for being able to navigate through this seamlessly. Damn it. My guy, GA Patriot, O'Connell broke more tags today in Wilder's entire career as a Raider. I, need, I know I just read that. And I know you guys are like, damn, man, you reading it again? But guess what, man? Don't it hit better when you see it on the screen? <laughs> my guy, Classic Man Q, Brandon Parker not playing. Don't sit well with me. Hey, man, I'm going to be... I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Uh, it, 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 it's listen, man. Brandon Parker's been in this league since Colton Miller's been in this league. They must like Brandon Parker. You know what I mean? I don't think Brandon Parker is fighting for a roster spot, and I think he's gonna play downstream in the, in the preseason. I, I really do. I think he's gonna get a few reps. But Brandon Parker is their number one backup to Colton Miller. Everybody always says that he's a better left tackle than he is a right tackle, and I can't tell because he's equally as trash at both. But to be real with you, <laughs> to be real with you, man, if, if he can if, if he can be you know healthy going into the season, man, that's what we need, man. We got to make sure we we keep as many of these guys healthy because you never know, man. The season is unforgiving, man. And when when you, when you do the joint practices, those joint practices are bloodbaths. I'm glad we got out of there relatively clean this week. My guy Augie Bedola, how do I become a member? Very easy, my friend. Very easy, man. What you do is you go, you click up on the uh hammer. How do you become a member, man? <laughs> you don't pin it to the chat like we all do. Man, hammer, listen. How long have you known me, bro? Long enough, grandpa. Yeah, could you please put it in the chat for me if, if at all possible, bro? I don't know how to do that shit, man. I'm sorry, bro. Hammer, you know I'm old, man. I, I gotta reach I might have like, just saved I might have just saved your life too, by the way. What'd you do? You'll see in two seconds if I can get this to work. Hold on. And we don't have to constantly go in and out. Pause if yeah. necessary. Hey, listen, sometimes you got to go in and out. Gets the job done. We, yo, we're we almost at an hour here, man. It is going crazy in here. It you is guys, going crazy. Guys, huh? 
You see that on the screen? No, I hear hit the join button. <laughs> I see no. that. Click the join button. I don't see anything. Look at yet. my screen. Do you not see the chat now? Yes, I do. Good. I just saved your, your live. Thank you. Hammer is the fucking <laughs> Hammer McHammerlin always coming through in the clutch, man. I didn't realize I could actually take your um your chat and actually do an um a pop out chat with it and control it. So we good. We get any supers, anything else right now. I'll be sure to highlight it and keep you stop refreshing this shit. You're good. All right, cool. Yo, my man Sniper Jones is in a place to be. Shout out to Sniper Jones. Some of the best Raiders YouTube content on Twitter or on X now, because it's not Twitter anymore. But Sniper Jones in a place to be with a hell of a question, man. Um, not to jinx it, but I'm the only one that wouldn't worry if Jimmy goes down and it's time for Aiden O'Connell to come in. Perfect fit for the system and the scheme. A nice arm, accurate, precise passer. Yo, that's a fact. And see, the good thing about Aiden O'Connell is, is that they always say that this offense is like a learning Mandarin, right? The thing about this is, is that... Asshole. <laughs> Yo, the thing, about, the thing about Aiden O'Connell is this is the only offense he knows right now as far as from an NFL perspective. So he's being brought in at the ground floor. That's why I like when teams develop quarterbacks because this is something it's not like he's coming from another system and he's got to unlearn things and relearn things. We, we got a clean slate with Aiden O'Connell. The things that I saw at Aiden O'Connell, man, I love his, his anticipation. I love the fact that he knows how to climb and move in the pocket without having to take off and run. I, I love that he doesn't look rattled. I love that he stands tall in the pocket and um, he has a, a lot of touch on the football too, man. Uh, yo, he he's very very accurate, man. I, I I'm blown away by Aiden O'Connell. Man. He's got a lot of poise in that pocket right now. And again, red zone efficiency was something that's been our Achilles heel for years. And look, a very solid day in the red zone, at least when O'Connell was out there. So I'm happy, man. I'm very happy with what I saw. Look, similar to that of Jimmy G, where his safety blanket came through in the clutch, and that's the tight end position. Cole Fotheringham had a fucking field day today. Yo, you said Cole Fatherham made the team just off of this game. You do you really believe I that he so. made the team? Yes, just yes. This one game. Yes, really. Let him keep that same energy these next two weeks. But yes, I think he could look. How many do we have right now? Four. Yeah, we have Hooper, we have Mayor, we have Fatherham, and we have Jesper Horstead. I think it's going to be a battle between Fatherham and Horstead for that third spot if they carry three. If they carry four. They're locked. But if they're carrying three, it's going to be Horstead versus Fotheringham for that last spot on the roster. Yeah. Shout out to Midnight King on the 499 Super. BP is the trusty golf ball in the bottom of the golf bag. Wait, what? Brandon Parker. Ah. Why is this? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I like Kali Barnes. You there can't we see go. Pretty. Yo, Kali Barnes was a lot better than Brandon Parker, though. Kali Barnes, bro, people used to get on Kali Barnes, but Kali Barnes used to really play well for us at times in certain situations. Like in, in, in two, three game spurts, Kali Barnes was great for us. You know what I mean? You just didn't want Kali Barnes being out there for the whole season. Hopefully, Brandon Parker can give us some of that, man. My guy, Mike Holly, man. Come on. We've all watched enough football to know this JJ type situation happens often within the NFL. He'll be fine and will play week one. See, the only thing about that is, is that there's a difference between being in shape and being in football shape. You don't get in football shape by not taking reps and hits in practice. So that that that's another part of it. You know what I mean? Josh Jacobs needs to, if it, you know, his leverage is is evaporating like Thanos with the snap. It, it, it's, it's, it's just evaporating right now. Just yep. come on in, man. Come on in. It's time. It's time. Shout out to Dwayne Smith. What's up, fam? Just hopped on. Great start today. What was your biggest takeaways today? Our defensive line has depth. And Patrick Graham is getting everything he needed to retool this defense. Because we all know at the end of the day, if we don't make a playoff run, if we don't make a strong push, if we have a trash-ass season, he will be the first head under the guillotine to be gone let me ask you a quick question darth raider said this before uh you know the chat crashed i got it up at the bottom too right 
how did Adam Plant Jr. look? Now, I didn't really see. He had a, I saw one one stop that he had, and I was very happy. And when he was out on the field, I said, we have an Adam Plant uh, sighting. So um, let me see if I can find his stats. I'll tell you real quick how he did overall. But I did see that one stop he had. Um, who the fuck are we? Plant, plant, plant. He had two tackles. Yeah, two tackles. So Two total tackles. I'm good. So, listen, I'm going to be real with you. Adam Plant Jr. has been balling, but you know who I've been hearing a lot out of, man? Who? Another another one of Graf's uh, players, man. Malcolm Koontz, man. Malcolm Koontz was looking great, man. Koontz looked okay. I don't know, Koontz. man. Malcolm, Malcolm Koontz was looking pretty good, man, to me, man. He looked like he, he he looked like he was setting that edge nice, man. Now, um, yo, my guy Deep H two H two O man, um, got a good question, man. Wasting a hammer, Aiden looked good in the pocket and throws a nice, accurate ball. Can he stand in there under pressure when the pocket collapses? I think that's the real test for him. I think he was, he he was extending plays though. Like there were times where he did like where pressure was coming that he had to make some type of move. He avoided, like I said before, he avoided that one sack. Like he fucking just tried to flip the dude over his back shoulder. Um, the only one that got me was when he took that hit from the left side with Haran, just letting that dude blow by him. But his pocket presence is there right now. And he's got, he has a pretty solid arm for what, from what we saw today. Like, yeah. That one pass to Trey Tucker that they called um, incomplete, like, look, he had that shit perfect, set, like, set up for him perfectly over his shoulder and everything, and I'm just like, uh, okay. But I was still impressed with how that re- how that came out of his arm. Like, it was it was a pretty solid throw. Bro, let me ask you a quick question, man. Um, when 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 you see when you see, you know, Aiden O'Connell, right? Who do you see, man? Like, like play style. Who do you see, man? Because I know who I see, and I don't really want to say it because it's like blasphemous to say it, man. But he reminds me a lot of Brady, man. He really does, man. And people were saying that. People were saying that and saying that. And I was like, oh, give me a break. But he reminds me of a young Brady, man. He is very deliberate in his motions. He's looking off um, guys, I mean, early in his career. He, you know, he, he's, he's looking off his primary read. He, he goes through his progressions. He climbs the pocket the right way, and he has that kind of pocket presence where he doesn't necessarily have to get outside of the pocket to be effective. He can move the pocket with with, with just a pump fake. Like, I love how he did the pump fake and got up under the guy and got the ball off, man. That's just stuff that you can't teach, man. So I'm very, very excited, man. Sprayer, Sprayer said it during the live earlier today, and shout out to him. He's in the chat now. He said, like, he's baby Tom Brady. And the way that he reads through his progressions – our, our last starting quarterback stopped doing that or actually really wasn't doing that. He would just key into one receiver. Every time he breaks the huddle, it was, I'm throwing it to you, okay? Ready, break. This yeah. dude is reading through his progressions and making making plays right now. And again, guys, I know it's the preseason. This is the time that we're evaluating these guys. I'm happy with what he brought to the table today. And Mm -hmm. I think he's only going to continue to get better. I think with the tutelage of learning the system and learning it with Brian Hoyer there with him, he's going to catch on very, very quickly. And he's going to be a very solid backup for us moving forward, unless told otherwise. I'm very happy with what he did today for us. (laughs) Yo, do me a favor and put up Paul D's comment, yo. Don't you put that on him, Ricky Bobby? (laughs) Don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you put that evil on us? That's my that shit. is some evil. That is some. Listen, we aren't gonna call him Brady. Let's just let's chill. Let's chill. We call him eight. We call him Brady Breeze. These are like two of the greatest quarter, like of the ten greatest quarterbacks of all time. The greatest. Shout out to Ray Deluxe on the two dollars super chat. Let me talk to you, Ain't No Brady. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. Yo, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not an LA Knight fan. I don't want to hear it. He's he's he, yo, he biting too much off a of stone cold in a rock. Oh, here we go. That, that's what everybody on on the internet is saying. I watched that dude when he was in Impact Wrestling. He's great on the mic. His promo skills are dope. Like he definitely had a really good push at Impact, and I'm looking forward to seeing his push in WWE. Yeah, he just went home and took some fucking Attitude Era tapes and said, "I'm gonna go get my hair cut like the Rock. I'm gonna walk out and get on the ring like the Rock and do the same thing. I'm gonna go you get me." See the video back. where? Did you ever see the video when he was in the room with the Rock and the Rock like shitted on him? Yeah, 
The Rock should shit on him. He's terrible. But oh, listen, I, 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 I'm, let's let's get back to, to to a real sport. Let's get back to to, to actual football, right? So listen, and I love I, I love professional wrestling. But come on, I like this. I like this. Hold up, baby Gronk and baby Brady, bright future. Talk that shit, John, John Zena. Like if we that. can't see him, we can't see him. John, I like that. high stakes Zena. I love it. My guy Reese Rock is in a place, man. Only get, only one score given up was out of the hands of our defender, man. My dog, Reese Rock, and the place to be, man. This man's sense of humor is complex and challenging, at all, all to say the least, man. I love my guy, Reese Rocks, man. Yo, um, damn, my guy, Ruben Russ. Let's give a round of applause to Jake High Stakes Moody, third round kicker. For the 49ers came to play. <laughs> He's getting cut. He's getting cut. Oh my God, yo, Shankopotamus himself. <laughs> who was that, who was that kicker last year? And dude was there forever. Who was yeah. that kicker? Was it Gold? Uh, yeah, Robbie. Robbie Gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's Shankopotamus is gonna get cut, man. Aiden O'Brady. Hashtag. It started with Shield more again. Yo, Aiden style of play reminds me of Joe Burrow. Mm, I don't know if he's as athletic as Joe Burrow, but yeah, man. where would you guys? I'm I I can't really Eddie. I really can't give a full comparison to anybody right now when it comes to O'Connell. Like because realistically, like we see a lot of these younger guys, and the younger guys right now are a lot more mobile. Um, gunslingers for me is not really. I don't really see that out of many of these guys right now. I see a lot of them more mobile and able to be more accurate when it comes to their short uh short route passing that's a fact man we uh, we got my guy raider man in a place to be with the five dollar super chat man let me ask you guys a question when have you seen so-called cuts play with so much intensity real talking raider man 12 and 5 Ooh. raider man is always very very optimistic i've never seen it and my hit yo i haven't seen it in 20 years i'm gonna be real with you bro um, you know, like, cause back when we were really good, you kind of could, you could tell who was going to make the roster cause the team was good. You know what I mean? But since we've gone to clean slate here, this is the most competition I've ever seen up and down this roster. So guys, look, let's, let's, let's get a little organized because now I can see the chat and hammers doing his thing. Let's, let's give positional group grades. All right. Quarterbacks today. What grade are you giving quarterbacks, quarterbacks as a whole? As a whole, not just Brady. Um, a to no Brady. An A. 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 Really though. Uh, scratch. A minus. Uh, a a mi Yo, Chase Garbage did not look good, bro. That's why I'm giving it an A minus. I'm gonna have to give it a B. I'm gonna have to get a solid B, man. I gotta give it a B because a you know Aiden balled out. He carried the B. So if it's a school project, he carried the school project. Chase Garbage gets a zero. He's he's only there. Let's be realistic here. He's only here for preseason. Let's yeah. be real. No, nah, yeah. Let's let's be for real. Not, let me let me not disrespect Chase Garbage because he's infinitely better than I've ever been. Now to to running backs. What grade are you giving the running backs today? Starting from Zeus to Sincere McCormick and Amir Abdullah. Uh, I'll give it a B. A B. I'm gonna go a little higher, man. I'm gonna go a little higher. I'm I'm giving him a B plus, man. Okay. I mean, Amir Abdullah looked great in some of the short yardage situations, and you know, uh, like the way he moves in space. Um, Zeus, listen, man, he did what he was supposed to do. I didn't see him giving up anything in the pass protection game. He looked pretty good blocking. Uh, he doesn't quite have the um the vision of a Josh Jacobs, but who does? You know what I mean? We're talking about a young guy who hasn't had a lot of reps, who has superstar potential who just hasn't had the resume yet. So he has to develop the resume. The only thing about Zeus that I see is, you know, the leg drive strength. The leg drive strength and short yardage, I would like it to be a little better. Now, when it comes to Cecil McCormick, Cecil McCormick balled out, man. I, You know, he he looked great. He looked great, man. And I think Cecil McCormick is going to push Britton Brown off this roster. I can see that happening. Yeah, I could definitely see it happening. Yo, shout out to my guy Chuck Taylor, man. Chuck Taylor, man. What's up, man? You forget about me, bro? Chuck Taylor actually called in during the live. Definitely appreciate you calling in during halftime, bro. Chuck, forgot about me, man. It's crazy, man. 
left me out here twisting in the wind. Yo, <laughs> nah, we stop it. It was a shout out to my dog Chuck, man. Producer aficionado, yo. Um, yo, I love that we constantly, Ruben Russ has a great, great con, uh, comment, yo. I love that we were constantly in third and manageable. We didn't have any bad holding calls or false starts. That is the Josh McDaniel effect. Discipline, good football, good down and distance, good situations. Um, the offensive line, what grade do you give the offensive line? Give them an, I'm also, giving, y'all give, give, give me the grades in the chat, too. Let me stop. I'm giving them an A just for giving up that one sack by uh, Justin Haran. And we actually – let me find this real quick because somebody just asked. Uh, penalties, we only had three. Three for 27 yards while the Niners had seven for 55. Okay. Troll King is giving them a C. Everybody said A, A, B+. Plus. My guy Clark Arroyo is in a place to be. Shout out to Clark Arroyo. Shout out to my guy King Green. He said the sound went away. He's probably trolling. Y'all can hear me, right? I can hear you. I know. I can hear you too. Um, Yo, Reese. now, defensive line. That's the only – I'm giving an A to the defensive line. I'm, I'm going to be real. I'm giving an A+. Plus. I'm giving pressure, it, yeah. pressure, pressure. I'm giving them an A plus. And these again, these are not starters, and they did a phenomenal job on that line today. Yes, they definitely did. Now, linebacker group. The linebacker group, I'm going to be <laughs> real with you, man. They caused a turnover. Amari Burner almost got another one. He got a sack. I am pleasantly surprised. That is another B. I give that a B. Defensive backs. <sighs> You really want my honest opinion on this? I wouldn't have asked you if I didn't, brother. See, Herman, I, I tend to agree with you, and this is the reason why we don't do a lot of lives together because we fucking always agree. <laughs> <laughs> because realistically, at the end of the day, football has been our life since we were little kids, and we know football. So there you go. Yeah, we always agree. Yo, I, I give it a C, bro. Like one of the scores came from a mishap in the defensive secondary. Yep. Also, Aziz Hearns. Took a, a A plus effort from the secondary and brought it down into the basements so almost to a D. Aziz Hearns was getting cooked. Cooked. Now, as people say Duke Shelley looked too small, I think Duke Shelley played very well as far as staying with his man, you know, pushing guys towards the sideline. He just made that one mistake, and I think a lot of people can't see that. They said Duke Shelley was getting bullied. I don't think so. Do you? Do you? I, I felt that he was, especially at, at in that. Um... The first few drives, like I, I was just like, what the fuck is going on here? Like those that were in the chat, I was like, yo, Shelly's probably going to be gone. You, they you can't start know. cutting until after uh, the third preseason game now. I don't know, man. You you got to remember. He does look pretty small, too. I don't know if it's a camera or what, but he definitely looks pretty damn small. Well, shit, Amik look bigger than Duke. Yeah. Amik, Amik, look. There was something that we said at the beginning who wasn't going to make it. I think Amik Roberts is a lock for this roster. That's the one thing I got from the day. Amik Robertson is a lock. I'm going to buy his jersey. I, was, I said I wasn't going to buy any jerseys of new players, but I like Amik so much, and I've been rooting for him ever since he got drafted. Amik- yeah, Sam, Sam Webb and Tyler Hall balled the fuck out today. Sam High Stakes Webbs, man. Yo, and, and, and the way they were blitzing him, man, he he looked great, man. I, I'm 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 a big fan of Sam Webb as well, man. Yeah, Amik stays 100%. Shout out to my guy, Top Beats, in the place to me. Shadow Fox is in the place. Fox. You think the cornerback played bad? They only scored seven points. Fox, who gave up those seven points, though? What position gave up those seven points, bro? Yeah, you, you if you can get the goose egg, you got to get the goose egg, man. Come on. Yo, Webb was inches away from a pick six, man. I was so hyped. Oh, yeah, Machiavelli K said, Wait, said I was tweaking. What you mean about a meek? Nah, I'm Mac. Still, hey, I'm Mac, still, what you talking I'm, about? What did I say that? I'm still on the Amik being cut train, but we shall see. I don't think a meek being cut, bro. Wait, Aziz Hearns needs to go. He looked like a Gruden type of DB. Cosby did yeah, look man. good. Cosby yeah, did look good bro. as well. He held his own. Did somebody summon John Gruden, man? Hey, man. Hey, I resemble that remark about Aziz Hearns, man. Let me tell you something. I would have taken Aziz. You know, they got him as a UDFA, man. I probably would have taken the guy in the first round, man. <laughs> Be honest with you, man. Let me ask you a question, man. Who's a better player, Damon Arnett or Aziz Hearns, man? I'd take Hearns over, over Arnett. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, man. So, listen, I'm going to be honest with you, man. 
I like Aziz, man. If you can play better than Damon Arnett, man, I mean, I mean, hey, I took him with a number one pick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Let me ask you a question, man. And you guys are knock on wood if you're with me, man. What do you guys think about this, man? What do you guys think about us bringing Nate Peterman back, man? What do you think, man? No, we're good. Listen, listen man, I've been calling Josh. I've been leaving dirty voicemail messages, breathing in his phone heavily, panting at night. Tell him, Peter Goat. It's not it's picking not up my calls, man. I'm going to tell you guys something, man. Somebody also said that uh, when we say content in his ears, it, it feels suspect. Let me tell you something, man. When we say content, because you know I'm going to tell you something, man. John Gruden's the one who made that up. Content, right? Go rub some baby oil on yourself or something, man, because that's, that, 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 that's your problem, man. If you get aroused by saying content, man, you must be a sick puppy, man. We're going to have to kick you out of the fucking chat, buddy. Well, let me tell you guys something, man. Knock on wood if you're with me, man. Things are looking up, man, because I'm not coaching. Josh McDaniels knows what he's doing, and I didn't know what the hell was going on, man. I'm going to see you guys throughout the season to give you guys my critiques on how this team is doing, man. And if you guys really want to know John Gruden's opinion about, you know, the, the, the grades of the positions, man. We're going to be dropping that on Planet Raiders, man. You guys have a terrific night, man. Go fuck yourselves. Yeah, all right, we're uh, back. Did, did any of our players start? Uh, to, I'm sorry. Did any of our starters play? Um, Dylan Parham played. He got his bell rung a little bit, so he came out. And um, Ja'Cory and Bennett played a little bit as well. So Masterson was out there as well. So there's a couple of our starters that did play, but not a, look, we know how Josh McDaniels does in the preseason, so – we just take this as it goes, and again, like this is an evaluation period for everybody, especially since they change the rules in regards to, yeah, you're going through the preseason on a 90-man roster, and you get to cut who you want to cut days after the final preseason game. So yeah. just enjoy this win today and continue to be optimistic and try to be positive about everything that uh, – this organization has put together so far throughout this offseason, throughout the draft, throughout free agency. Again, the number is 18, and that's 18 rookies we have on this team. Nine of them were drafted, eight of them were undrafted, and one is part of the international player pool. So I'm excited right now, man. I really am. Yeah, man. Hey, guys, look, I'm going to be real with you. Um, I'm excited. People can say all they want about it being a preseason game, but – when you evaluate players in preseason, you're evaluating them in a live construct. So you're evaluating individual players in a live scenario. And that's what that's what I did watching this game. And all of the guys that I wanted to see perform showed up and showed out, man. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to the over 500 people in the room. We had over 700 people in the room, man. You guys got wasted like none other today, man. I appreciate everybody for pulling up. I appreciate my brother Hammer for saving a live for me, man. Guys. I think it's time to pull this train into the train station, man. Tomorrow, when when we have better times, we will be breaking down everything. Uh, we're going to be going live. You know Hammer's going to be going live. I'm going to be going live. You know Graf is going to be going live, man. We might get a Shield more show this week, man. Uh, things are looking up. Business is picking up. And look, I'm going to be real with y'all, man. You guys know, just like I said, man, and like I always say in this podcast, man, Yesterday's price is not today's price. Hashtag Beast Coast. Hashtag the Raiders are going to kick some ass this year. And if you don't believe so, get the F out of here, man. Y'all have a fucking terrific night, man. Peace. And the wasted word of the day is content. <laughs> Y'all have a